Hello everyone, we're back and I'm just setting up to play a little bit of Minecraft. And now I'm playing Minecraft version uh, 1.7.1. Uh, and the reason I'm not playing the new Bountiful update is because... Um, oops, sorry, actually you can't see that, that's alright. Um, the reason I'm not playing the new Bountiful update is that I have a server all set up on 1.7. I use Forge for a, fa a few mods and that sort of thing. So, um, oh god, I'm hideously unprepared to, to actually be streaming right now. But, whatever. Um, just got to make sure that it's running. And then we should be good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and just move you out of there. Okay. Still says that I'm on... I'm offline. Seven, I, I use Forge for a, there we go. a few mods. Beautiful, we're in. And sorry, I didn't realise that I was going to be able to hear me again. That's a really dumb feature of Twitch. But anyway, so we're going to go multiplayer, direct connect, and I'm going to go to my local host. Um, yeah, so it's actually running my server, and I'm hoping that no numbers ever come up, because if we do, I could be in a bit of trouble for that. Um... Oh, come on, Twitch. God damn it, Twitch. Why are you playing me ads? I'm... I'm streaming. God damn you. Piece of shit. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and set the time of day. Uh, time set zero. And for some reason I'm starting underwater. Here we are. Beautiful. Beautiful. But you can't see it yet. Oh, uh, here's a big reveal. Boom. There you go. It's the world. My Minecraft world. Uh, hold on. It says that Twitch is not streaming, so that's a pain in the ass. Uh, Twitch, I'd like you very much to, you know, work. If you'd, if you'd just like to work, that would be just optimal. Please stop saying that I'm offline, because I'm totally not. Okay, anyway, whatever. If this doesn't work and it's not streaming, I won't be that devastated. All I will do is I will, um, there we go, beautiful, stop playing me an ad, Christ, um, all I will do is I will have this be a YouTube only thing, so let me show you my world, we'll start at one end and we'll just move ahead to another, uh, okay, so as you can see I'm giving you a bit of a cook's tour of the, the world as it is, with the shader mods, um, forget which one I'm using. I think I'm using Sonic's uh, shader pack. So this is, uh, we started doing this world in um, in survival mode, which is why this is sort of a, this house doesn't have that much stuff there, but it was in a forest. This is my girlfriend's house. Um, it's in the middle of one of those uh, beautiful flowery forests. Most people build a little spire. I built a glowstone tower so that I could always find my way back to here. And, oops, sorry, I'm uh, still having issues with Twitch at the moment. And this is my railway station, which I will show you right now. If I could, let's just go ahead and break my way in, that's fine. It, you notice it doesn't have a door, there's a reason for it, but the, it's, not, um, it's not quite complete yet. Yes, yes, I know that. Let's go ahead and have me a minecart, and I'll show you where these goes. Mine. Okay, I don't know why I had a daylight sensor, but okay, let's rock. So basically, I mean, this is obviously creative mode stuff. Um, occasionally when I get some time, I'll just decide on a that I want to build a mini game or something in here and I'll turtle around, but I haven't put a real huge amount of time into it, not like some of the amazing worlds that I've seen on Twitch and that sort of thing where multiple people have put hours and hours and hours into into something but I don't know I feel it's it's reasonable enough and it looks really pretty with the shaders um, well now that Microsoft owns Mojang it would be it'd be really cool if they would institute those shaders into it I think it's not as simple and then that sort of thing but I don't think it actually takes away from any of the gameplay uh, unlike some of the texture packs that I've used in the past and I now realise that I'm actually playing without without a, without a texture pack. That's that's not acceptable. 
Anyway, hold on. I've just got to put my texture pack on, and then we'll be good to go. So I generally use uh, smooth realism. I guess I'll use today. Generally, I use smooth realism. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. It does do that sometimes. Okay. It says it's not responding. Still fingers crossed because it does that every time. Because it looks really nice, these ones. I quite like um, Redcraft's ones because they're not too different from the original. The original look of things. But anyway, here we go. I thought it looked a little bit different. Anyway, so we'll climb up here. So this is my... my uh, what did I call it? Something stupid. I don't know, conflict resolution arena. Basically, it's a big fighting arena. So there's a bunch of stands around here. You know, for all the the spectators. And I'll show you where the the fighters come in, and I'll show you how the whole thing works, because it's actually quite a quite a clever little mini-game, as if I do say so myself. Not exactly the best-looking building I've ever built, but... So, blue fighter enters this side, a little typo in there, through the glowstone tunnel. You know, you got to have a build-up, and they both come into here. Alright. So basically, it's three rounds. You can see a little scoring system here, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Three rounds between the blue and the orange fighter. They come in opposite sides. In the final round, it becomes a fire round, and it's... Um, it, which is quite cool. I won't show you that because it means I've got to set the whole thing up, but I'll sh I will tell you how it happens. Basically, there's underneath that, there's a giant pit down to bedrock. And the inferno around it sets fire to everything um, underneath then. So the first person to fall down that pit loses. And this is how it scores. So you need a referee up here at all times to change a thing. And that just pushes some pistons out to, um, to keep the score, as it were. Also, the roof is made of lava, because why not? I mean, I'm not exactly going for realism here. So uh, the roof is made of lava. What can I say? Now... So that's where the mine minecart goes. We go over here. So this is just behind my house. This is my crystal cathedral over here that I built when I was really, really bored. Uh, there's not a whole deal in it. It's just a few pews and whatnot. Don't know why I built that. We've got my hedge maze, which I won't show you how to solve. We'll run through that in a second. It looks really pretty with the uh, with this particular texture pack. This uh, thing just took us to our mine, our diamond mine. It's on like level eight, so I decided I didn't want to walk that far. So this is our uh, hedge maze, which is pretty great. Um, it took me a reasonable amount of time to build, and I actually don't remember how to solve it. Oh, thought I screwed it up then, but I didn't. Go this way. Nope. Uh, yeah, I might have screwed up my own hedge maze. I mean, I, it's definitely solvable. I've done it before, but I just don't really remember how to solve it. Oh, we're so close. There's a pool in the middle of it that I set up. Anyway, I'll show you. Um, so there's a pool in the middle of it that you've got to get through, and you pop out the other side. There's nothing really spectacularly exciting on the other side, but it's a thing. What can I say? All right. Um... Now, so this is my house here. Uh, obviously, this is all built in creative mode because I just lack the will to build it not. And I'll I'll walk you through basically what it is. That bridge can be raised or lowered um, into the water. So I've got a beacon there. So it's like a little museum I've got it set up as. Um, some couches. Couches, table, you know. Take a load off. Read. This is my kitchen in here with the table. So everyone can sit up here and have a snack and whatnot. Uh, this is basically my version of the ultimate house that one could have. Um, yeah, and so there's not not a great deal of it until you come out the back and you notice, oh, more, more stuff. So we've got a watch on the wall and a chest because that's a majestic item and a map here which tells you where everything is. That other one, that other one down here, is the uh, in the fairy forest. Now, these levers open secret passages, which can go various places. So that one actually goes down. So that's the quick way down. There's also a sneaky little um, railway that can take you between the houses, although uh, my girlfriend doesn't know that it comes up, like, literally within her house. It's a whole piston situation that I've got going on. Now, that one doesn't open just here. This one opens around the corner. 
So you come around here, and it's in here. And yep, clever, clever. Um, again, it's all it's all piston, you know, very very simple stuff within hollow walls. I uh, didn't plan it that way originally, but I thought it was quite funny. And so let's say you're in bed, and you're like, hmm, I'm really hungry, but the kitchen is so far. Pull that, and you're in the dining room. Fantastic. So that's that then. And then we head upstairs. And so you see a button there. There's actually a door behind that. I had a, I've got something that I want to build there, but I'm not ready to, um, ready to build it yet. It's going to take a, take some time. Basically, I wanted to make a tower defense kind of, uh, not tower defense kind of thing, but um, do something with the two towers, Lord of the Rings style thing. So this lever, I, I can demonstrate, activates the defense alarm. Uh, not defense alarm. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, the cannons, basically. So it activates those which are on a repeater circuit. So basically a piston it usually covers things over. And it pulls back and it c completes the uh, circuit. So the repeaters will fire. That thing will fire about 10,000 arrows a minute. Just with the repeater circuit they have got set up. Sometimes it burns out because of the nature of how the, um, the redstone works. But that's basically what that does. Now, yeah, as I said, there's doors there that lead all the way up to the top of the towers which go up here. And as you can see, I've got some stuff being built in there, but I haven't actually finished what I wanted to do with it yet. Mmm, look at that sunset. Beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to switch it, because nighttime might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see. So I'll set the time to zero, which is in the morning, and we'll go and see it. So you can see something over there. I'll go and show you this. This is the boat. It's called the Caraboujon, which is a Tintin reference. Uh, and this actually took me a fair, fairly long time to make. It's kind of based on the um, the boat that I was using for reference is actually the Black Pearl. Uh, I know it looks nothing like the Black Pearl, but I didn't know what boats looked like when I started building it. So it ended up okay. We'll have a look in here. This is the um, this is where the the crew sleep, you know, uh, and that's the little private rooms there, just in case you know you want to do something terrible. And it's all quite you know, poorly lit as a boat hull would be. Now the other thing is, this is the brig. Terrifying, you know, poorly lit. That's where, you know, mutiny, mutineers go. They go into the brig. And this is the storage area. And I I didn't realize that with these shaders that the uh, chests would look like they were glowing, but I think it looks cool, so I'm leaving it that way. And I don't think I ever actually put anything into these chests. But, you know, the boat also doesn't work, so you win some, you lose some. That's basically it. That's the Caribougeon there, the boat. And it looks really pretty with the shaders. Now we'll go over and have a look at this. This is a thing that I built in the middle of the ocean. And there's a very good reason for that. Basically, this works... Uh, uh, it's another mini game that I built. Um, basically, another repeating circuit. The redstone goes all the way around and fires fire charges or arrows, depending on what sort of game it is, and it's basically a last man standing type thing. There is no dead spot, so you've got to be on it and you've got to be actively dodging, so you can get hit when you stand literally anywhere. Um, so it's nice there. It's nice in that way that there's no um, real strategy other than you know ducking and moving. So next to the Carrie Vujon is the chessboard, uh, which looks fantastic at night because it's half made of glowstone and half made of obsidian. I was going to build chess pieces, but then I realized that you'd never be able to move them. So it's more of a um, more of a uh, talking point, like the hedge maze that I demonstrated just a touch earlier. Now, where's the next thing that I want to show off? Okay, so this is the municipal pool. See, you got some some blankets there. Go for a, go for a little cheeky swim. This is the deep end. You know. Everyone holds their breath and gets to the bottom. And then... Hold up. Ugh, land. So this is the high dive. You know, very, very simple. Every pool has to have one. I'll go here. Huh. Nice. But, um... I didn't think that was really enough. This is actually one of the stupidest things that I've ever built, but... So this this goes down to the extremely high dive, and you think, oh, how can I high dive when I'm, you know, all the way down here? Well, I will show you in just a second if I could possibly figure out the buttons in Minecraft. So down we go. 
Um, I actually previously had another server which was much, much bigger than this, had some of the similar things. But they... Uh, ba basically my hard drive crashed or something. I think actually I had to update Windows. I did a clean install because uh, my computer crashed. Basically the sum of it was I lost my server which I was very disappointed with. Whoa, that was a creeper. I thought I lit all of this so the creepers specifically couldn't spawn here. Anyway, so as you can see... Oh, sorry. Itchy face. As you can see, we're heading up the, um... I don't know. I don't know quite what to call this, but... Where... That's the, uh, station. That's the jail, which I'll show you in a second. I, I built a prison. That's another mini-game that I'd, I'd like to show off while I'm doing this. And it heads all the way up. All the way up. And it comes back. So you can kind of see where we're going now with the extremely high dive aspect of it. Um, and yeah, just we we'll just have to wait and see. So you can see that it can't really load, like, you know, as far as the eye can see. I often uh, often think that Minecraft wasn't well uh, optimised. I've got Optifine on this one, obviously, because you kind of have to for the shaders. But, um, like, my computer's not not wimpy by any means, like I've got 32 gig of RAM and we're still having issues with um, it being able to render further out. So I've just I've just made it small, just for a uh, small performance benefit that you get when you do that. Alright, alright. Sorry, my nose is incredibly itchy. And let's leap off. Okay, so I'll just punch that away. So if you stand... Just here, you'll notice that the pool is just there. So you see where we were going with this? Oh, hell yeah! It looks like you're not going to make it, but then... Oh, you totally do. And that is survivable on... Um, uh, on survival mode as well. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Now, let's go and check out... I told you about the prison. Let's go and check the prison out, and then... There was something else I wanted to point out to you guys as well. But I'll go to the prison first. So, as you can see, just behind the railway station here, which I'm intending to expand and sort of build into various places, we have this prison, which is a mini-game that I sort of came up with um, when I was really bored. Basically, I just built... I dug a giant hole and then had to figure something to do with it. So this is the administration area of the prison. So this is where you come, the person that's going to play the mini-game. Hold on, I want to repair this with wool before I because I'm going to have to break this for it to work. Basically, on the other side, there we people, and there's a piston there. So you come out. Just fix that. Come down here. You fall down this deep, deep hole, and you land in the water. So as you come up, this is what... I, I should mention this is one of the stupider things I've built as well. So you come down here. So you can escape from the prison. It's absolutely possible. I've tested all of it. One of these actually won't have spawned yet. So then you start with the, the basic light maze sort of thing um, that I'm sure is possible. There we go. Not too hard, just gonna keep walking. And we head up here, come around the corner, and it says make you way through the pulverizer, which is actually off at the moment, which is a shame. Must have. Uh, sometimes you have issues with redstone. Uh, where's the repeater circuit? I've just gotta repair this. So I can show you how it functions. There's a repeater circuit. And let's break that. And so the way you do these repeater circuits is you do that. Uh, actually, let's break that connection there. Actually, that was a poor idea. So you... That was bad. That's not how that was supposed to work. So this is a really terrible way of doing a repeater circuit, but it is the fastest that works on my, uh, on my rig. Oh, god damn it. Probably gonna cut all of this out, to be honest, when I upload to YouTube. But... Uh, I've just gotta luck out so hard with this. Oh, damn it. I'm sure there's a better tactic to doing this than what I'm doing. Some, some people use levers. Well, what am I doing? Ah, oh, come on! I have no luck today. Okay, fuck it. Basically what happens, the pulverizer is a, you know, it's a crusher, basically. And it smashes things. God damn it, that's really annoying. 
was hoping to show that off because that was um that's actually really good and also it's going to make it really difficult for me to go past so I'm just going to do that it's fine i probably won't save this minecraft and then it says make your way through the annoying doors which would be on the same repeater circuit as um it would be on the same repeater circuit as down there what the what what <laughs> Okay, all right, whatever. So basically, you make your way through the... No, oh, damn it. You make your way through the annoying doors and take your arm in the sword. So this one won't actually be spawned because the pigmen kept despawning. So pigmen obviously aren't aggressive towards you, as that one I just saw down there wasn't. You get diamond sword, diamond armor, and this room is full of pigmen and, like, four zombies. So if you take a swing and hit a pigman, you will be killed. But basically, you've got to get through all the way here without being killed. You get through this door. And then things start to get hard and annoying. So there's a chest over here with some ender pearls in it, which will teleport you to the top of the things. And basically, you've got to find the correct route to throw them. So if this actually goes up three floors, and there's plenty of routes that are wrong, and I actually don't remember which one is correct, because I built this a little while ago, and I can't... I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. So it actually goes up three floors, as I said. Now it's a fire maze. Um, you can hear a little bit of water in the background, but basically this is the uh, the Netherrack fire maze. Don't actually remember how to do this one either. As you can see, we're getting a bit of stutter, but you do have to go through the fire at some point, but that's okay because the next bit is water. The whole room is filled with water, except for a few choice bits. As you can see, there's obviously some lava above us, uh, except for a few choice bits, and you've got to find the hole in the roof, which, again, I actually don't remember where that was. Uh, maybe... Where is... Where's the hole? Can't find the hole. That's, uh, ironic and a terrible pun. Um, where the hell is... See, I don't even remember where I put the thing, so... It's quite difficult, but yeah, basically there's a hole in the roof, and we've got to find our way out. Um, I can't actually put a hole in the... I don't think there's any lava there. Oh, there's absolutely lava there. Oh, but the hole was right next to it. I'm an idiot. I'm just going to block that up with... Oh, it actually doesn't matter, because it would just repair itself. Ah, so that's clever. I was so clever, and I didn't even know it. So this is the final room. You notice it's full of lava. Basically, you've got to jump from stone to stone without burning to death. Oh, oh, I'm on fire a bit. Oh, on fire a bit again. So as you can see, I'm not great at this, but this is absolutely possible. I've tested every section, but I will say that I've never been able to do it in individual sections. So up we go. And oh, no, it fell off. Oh, look. Oh, I jumped to there. So basically, you go up and up and up, but then at some point, you've got to double back on yourself. There's a few really, really hard sections in this. But the sum of it is you end up here. Now, there's a bed there, and then you can escape the prison. So you come out the back door, uh, which is actually hidden under the water, and then you're out. So you come out the back just here. And that's about it for the prison. Now, I'm sure there was one other thing. Oh, yes, there is. Now, actually, this one does need to be in the day. Oh, come on, caps lock. That's no good. Yes, look at that. Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. So basically the sum of this is that where um it's uh it's my beach resort, as you can see. And it's terrible. I knocked this up in about uh oh, three or four hours. That's the bar. Uh it's three or four hours, three or four minutes, sorry. And basically it's just somewhere that you can sit and relax and take a load off. Yeah. And if you have a look up here, beautiful, beautiful. And that's about it that's in my, my place at the moment, or of all the things that I actually want to show you. There's tons of stuff down in the mine, but we won't do that. So here's what we do. Oh, look at that. Even the squids are, squids are playing in the distance. Ah, it's beautiful. Seriously, though, go and go ahead and down, down like the shade, uh, I nearly said shavers, shaders. Um, it's absolutely worth it. It, it really is. It, um, it's definitely reinvigorated me 
so I've been playing a lot of Minecraft um, since they came out. But here's what I'm going to do. Um, whoop. Whoop, we died again. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and play something else because I just wanted to give you a quick tour and then I'll be back on Twitch in not too long. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Ooh. Anyway.